Hello everyone and welcome to Create Astral. Today we'll be going over sturdy sheets and how to fully automate the process. Without further ado, let's get started. Here we have the layout of the build. As you can see it's pretty tall so I recommend building this outside. For the belts we have two different two different builds you can go with. First is more expensive 10 press line. As you can see it, it will cost you a lot of iron. And then this cheaper one which only has two presses but is a lot slower because we have to half the speed that the rate this goes to compared to this one because it, it will end up backing up the entire system. So the materials you'll need for this build will be one andesite funnel, one basin, one blue ice, one breast funnel, one chest, 13 crew storage units, one encased fan, one gearbox, three hoppers. The glass is optional. You can use whatever block you want. One mechanical drill, one mechanical press, one lever, one chute, one mock heart with hopper, two basin, two seared faucets, I'm sorry, two seared casting basins, two seared faucets, seared melter, seared heater, one soul soil, a millstone, any trapdoor you would like, one bucket of water, and one bucket of lava. So what you want to do when getting started is first place down a chest, a chute, the millstone, another chute, and a crew storage. And not only that, we will need to put a crew storage here and build a line all the way up to this one. The reason is because when we grind down the obsidian, it has a chance of spawning more obsidian. So we will be filtering it into this system and running it back up here to be milled again. And the great thing about crude storage units is that you can lock it in and filter out where in and out it comes from. So say here, input, and have some obsidian, place it in here, it gets funneled into there. You can do that all the way up into here. So what you want to do now is place your brass funnel here, filter it out to obsidian, then build out three this way, three blocks this way. Place your encased fan there. And this is where you don't have to use glass, but I do because I like to see the magma blocks get turned into obsidian. And put your water there. Next, place a temporary block here, one shoot there, and another crew storage unit right here. We will need to filter this out to only take magma blocks. So, magma. If I can type, that would be great. Okay. And lock that in. Locking it only allows this block to go in. So, say if I take this out, that will stay there. Next, you want to break this temporary block. Place your seared basin right there and you can build out another one right there. Next you can place your seared heater, nope not there, right there, and your melter. Then place your faucets there and there. Now we can place some crew storages there, there, and there. What this does is take the magma blocks that come out of here and funnel it through back into here to be remelted, getting you more magma. So let's actually lock that in. Next, we're going to place some more crew storage units there and there. Then place your hoppers there and there. We're going to place another crew storage unit there and set this one to polished basalt. Next, we're going to place our basin in here. Then, we're going to set the recipe also to polished basalt. If you don't set this to polished basalt, it will give you compressed basalt instead of polished basalt. Oh, and don't forget to place your lever here. The, what this does is continuously pours the magma over the polished basalt. We will place our hopper there, our soil right above it, and then we'll come out a couple blocks and go up one. And I did forget to mention this, you will need rails to get the minecart into the soil soil. My apologies on that one. 
Next, we will need to put a block here so our minecart does not run off. Now place your minecart right there and push it. Then we can break these blocks here, place a block there, and our mechanical drill here. Then you can break these blocks. Next is for the blue eyes, so we can put our blue eyes above here, along with our bucket of lava. First, let's place our trap doors. Like that. That goes there. And voila. Next we can place our mechanical press right there. And then we're pretty much done with the whole build. So all that's left is to power it, which you can do however way you like. So what I would do is encase this in blocks to keep the basalt from flying off and getting clogged in the machine, which will happen. As you can see, it's getting pressed in the polished basalt. Now this, at this point you want to go around and configure the inputs and outputs of all your crude storages. So like here, input comes from the top and put that auto. And for the output, to the left and to the back, auto output. That way it gets funneled to these hoppers and you can also configure these storages. Auto input. Auto input. And for the output, just hit the back on this one. And output for this one. Now you put polish salt in here and lock it. Now only polish salt will get through. So now we will get the input from the top. And the outputs to the left and to the back. So as I said before, you want some magma blocks to get started. Uh, you don't have to have a stack, I would just like five or something like that. So now we can configure this to the input from behind. And configure the output to the left. Next we need to configure the input from here to the side and the output at the top. This one input from the bottom and output from the back. As you can see, they get funneled in repeatedly, giving you infinite magma. Now for the fuel, I recommend using a kelp farm an infinite kelp fuel farm which I can if you guys want I will make a video on that for create astral now but here we'll just put in some dried kelp blocks now once this smells it'll turn into magma molten magma and you flip this switch it'll pour over the polished basalt turning it into magma. Now here, we will need to put the inputs for this on the top, auto input, and then an output out the bottom, which is there. Then it gets flowed, thrown into here. Let's, let's power this real quick. and washes it. That way when it turns it into obsidian, it'll go through the brass funnel into this crude storage. And we also need to set the output from the back and the side. Next, and the output going to the bottom. The reason I didn't include these in Oh my gosh, more lightning. One second. All right. Now back to what I was saying. The reason I don't include these into the schematics 
these into the materials because a lot of people power their stuff differently and I won't just want to have you power your own stuff. That way it'll be more convenient for you wherever state you're at. Then after it gets crushed into the millstone, it will turn into powdered obsidian. And as you can see, this is doing its job by taking all of the obsidian out of here and throwing it back. But well, first, let's we have to configure it. Same as before. As you see, this is doing its job by cycling in and out obsidian. Once, uh, let's give it a second to. There we go. As you see, it flows to there and it shoots back up to the top almost instantly. And that'll be it for the powdered obsidian. Next is the easy part. We're, well, the more expensive part, I would say. Alright, so what you want to do on the brass funnel is set that to one. That way, multiple doesn't get sent out one time. And it will start producing and finishing sturdy sheets. As you can see, the sturdy sheets has a 20% chance to turn into gravel, which this looks like way more than 20%, but I might say. It gets turned into gravel and sturdy sheets, so you have to have a way to funnel this out. And if you want to just throw away all the gravel or use it for something else, you can move it to something else. There's also this one over here. The reason I don't recommend this one is because it's not as efficient and it's a lot slower, but it is cheaper in terms of iron blocks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it's helpful. Until next, and start writing again, <laughs> perfect timing. Uh, until next time, I will see you all later. Goodbye.